Let's take a look how to make this composition with shattered glass here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this image as a reference. And by the way, I'm gonna leave the links in the description for the assets so you can download it. And now let's go to the adjustments, select the curves. And here I'm gonna increase the contrast quite a bit. And I also gonna increase here. There you go. I'm gonna press and hold shift, select both layers, or right click, convert smart object. And now I'm gonna drag and drop the shattered glass. I'm also gonna change up the blend mode, for example, on lighten. So this way I can arrange it however I like, change the blend mode back, and I gotta go to select color range. And here I'm gonna select the shadows. So pretty much these are going to be my settings at low, click OK, and I'm gonna go to select inverse. Now let's go down here and mask it. Let's go and select the layer with the model, press Ctrl J to duplicate, and here I'm gonna select the lasso tool. And with this thing, I'm gonna select a couple of areas from the shattered glass. And I'm gonna go back here. And then I'm gonna repeat this step all around. So I'm gonna press and hold Shift. And I'm also gonna select this one with the first one. And I'm gonna leave one out again. And next, I'm gonna press and hold Shift and select another one. Leave one out again and repeat the process. After you selected every each, I'm gonna go with this layer and let's mask it. And now we're going to unlock the layer with the mask and let's select the layer, press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift plus Alt and scale it. Check this out. It is going to create this magnifying effect. I'm going to lock it back. Now let's click on the bottom layer and we're going to go to the adjustments, scroll down, select the gradient map. I'm going to click on reverse, click on the gradient and I'm going to go and add some handles. And I'm gonna go down here, add some new handles, change up the colors, for example, cyan, click OK. I'm gonna select the second layer with the model, go to the adjustments, let's select brightness and contrast, and I'm gonna increase the contrast nice and high. Also the brightness a little bit. And I'm gonna go and recolor some more parts on the glass by clicking on the mask, and I'm gonna go and select a couple of more. So the final result starts to look something like this. I'm also gonna add more contrast, but I'm gonna pull it above the model. And I'm also going to go and select the gradient mask here, select the brush tool, scale it up, and check this out. You can still recolor a couple of parts. I'm going to go up and decrease the opacity to 50. By the way, you can do the same approach by going to the other layer mask, selecting it, and check this out. I'm going to swap it, and it's going to create this effect. So you can play around, mix it up, and see what other results you get. I'm gonna go to the contrast and press Ctrl J. So this way I'm gonna bring it all the way up and maybe boost the contrast even more. Select the top layer, press and hold Alt, click on the new layer, rename it as noise, go to the mode, change it to overlay, check the fill, click OK, right click on the layer, convert to smart object, go to the filter, noise, add noise. Make sure to uncheck the monochrome and click OK. And that's one of the ways how you can apply shattered glass here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.